Alright, what's up guys? Today we're gonna do the Botanica. The Botanica. It's a set it's it's another one of those raids from the BC expansion. I know, it's, a, it's one of the awesome ones. Here's how I do the instance. Right here I wait for the... Oh! Oh, the inspect... Uh, yeah, that, I guess that was a little bit expected because they were nearby. For that to happen, they have to be nearby each other. For better effects like that to happen. These four are like literally right next to each other. There we go. Wait for that patroller to come right there. Here's a simple trick to to be able to loot the bosses much quicker in the instances is if you take out the actual boss before the trash. If you take out the boss before the trash, or pull the trash away from the boss, either of these will work. If you wait for the boss to go far enough distance from the trash, or take the trash far enough distance from the boss, either of these ways will work. I'm showing you all some trick to be able to take out bosses more easily without having to worry about the trash being in the way. If you want to get just the, bo the important boss loot, you can pull the trash away from the boss so that the trash loot doesn't collide with the boss loot. Yeah, I'm sending like the cars. These guys are immune to like fire. Here's the second boss, the instance. He's he's actually kind of the easy to miss. These are very delicate. Sometimes you can miss the boss and realize for this thing here to disappear, you have to take out all the bosses in the following order. No, it's beat the instance. There's a couple of, there's two, like two patrolling ones right here, and a singular patrolling one down here. I'll take that one, I'll get that one taken down after I get the third boss of the instance down. Alright, so I'm gonna do a little trick here. I'll wait for this one right here to go in the middle here, so that I'll be able to hit all five of them. Him and all the other ones here. This one and the other. The hitboxes increase, also increase when they get bigger. So wait for those other four hitboxes to get bigger as well. So then it will be just close enough for all five of them to get hit at once from the same ability. What? 
Watch this little trick here. Oh yeah. You gotta get them from these flesh webbers. You can use those flesh webbers to take out the rest of them. Or get to the other flesh one that's a distance away. This one, that would be impossible. If I do this, I could get them all. Including this distant flesh room. Wherever. Those guys are saying, they're telling me to get out, but I could do just fine. Here's a little trick here. You get ha get the nearest flesh wherever so you can get them all. If you take out the nearest flesh thing, you have to do it for these flesh groups. Oh no. Oh, there's no way there's a simple way I can get up here. There we go. I use, heroic, I use the heroic leap ability in mine to get up. See how these guys are f too far away from each other for my badass multi killing throw to work. Whoa. Just do. For me, I could do. I could just. Whoa, win them. If they're too far away for an awesome multi killing throw, that won't work because they're too far away. See how these guys are close to the final boss? Here's, a, here's what I'm gonna show you to do you pull them away from the final boss. Now that these guys, these, I've seen what these guys have as loot and it's not very valuable. So just those guys. Maybe we'll drop some money, but that's about it. Then the money's not much either. It could be a lot if you get them all packed into one. That's but the boss, but yeah, the final boss gives you the most money out of them all. And that's already it's already the end of the instant. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I'll see you all in the next video, which is soon. Bye!